Welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. And on the line with us, Mark Ruffalo, the actor and filmmaker. Uh, his, uh, his website, facebook.com slash Mark Ruffalo. You can tweet him at Mark Ruffalo. Mark, welcome back to the program. Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me. Great talking with you. You're, you're all over this, this issue of uh, Jerry Brown and his legacy, the uh, UN Climate Change Conference in Bonn uh, uh, last, uh, what was it, a week ago, I guess, last week. Um, the, yep. Jerry Brown was, I believe, interrupted by protesters saying, leave it in the ground. What's going on here? Well, um, Jerry Brown right now uh, is, is basically... Um, a self-described climate hero. Uh, he's, you know, leading California um, into uh, this new era, this new climate um, climate era of uh, leaving it in the ground or, or, or leaving fossil fuels and moving to a renewable energy paradigm. And, um, well, at the same time, he has led California to be the third largest oil producer in the nation. Um, now, is that the so, result of policies that he put in place, or is that just the, 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 the natural result of, of, you know, 100 years or, or whatever? Let's put it this way. I mean, it, it, you know, there's a, there's a legacy industry in California, and it is 70 years old. Right. Um, and so it's something that's entrenched. Uh, it's po politically entrenched. It's politically entrenched in the United States. It's, California is a microcosm of what we're seeing happening in the United States and in the world at large. You know, we, we've relied on fossil fuel, and, uh, you know, we should be grateful to fossil fuels. They brought us through the Industrial Revolution, the Technological Revolution, and now they brought us to the day where we can actually leave them behind. Mm -hmm. um, but Jerry Brown is in a particularly good position right now to actually be the leader of doing that. Um, and what you're seeing happening is his constituents, the constituents of the world, are asking more from our leaders who are calling themselves climate leaders. Mm -hmm. Whether you're Jerry Brown or Angela Merkel, um, we have to start addressing the demand side of climate change, which is pulling this stuff out of the ground. And if we're going to even follow the Paris Agreements, um, as Jerry Brown said he would do, um, it's impossible that he can keep pulling um, so many fossil fuels out of the ground. I mean, California does, is doing, won't even ban hydrofracking and drilling in neighborhoods, you know? Yeah. Last year, we took a group of actors and producers and writers on what we call the toxic tour of Los Angeles, where um, they have... Uh, lenient more lenient restrictions on fossil fuel drilling in neighborhoods than they do in denton than they do in denton texas yeah i think that was the one and where where norman lear and i showed up and and yeah and that's where you, I met you, you were there yeah that was uh, it was right around the time of porter ranch yes it was it was right at the time of porter ranch yeah and um and and we interviewed you know the stand la which is uh stand against neighborhood drilling mm. it's it's this is a justice movement you know really at its core and and what you what you see happening is the people who are on the front lines of fighting this, the indigenous people, people of color, these are the people who are directly in harm's way right now. And so they're asking more from our leaders. You know, what we see happening throughout the world right now is is a sort of a we're denying the status quo, whether you're talking about sexual predation uh um misogyny sexism or you're talking about um fossil fuels and fighting climate change we have to move past the status quo and leaders like jerry brown are on the front line of the status quo it is we are going after these types of people because they are the leaders that are most likely to make the change that needs to happen right but this, this jerry brown oh go ahead i'm sorry no no it's fine I, I, I in fact finish your thought and i'll i'll you know, so Jerry Brown's in a really good position. He he has the environmental record. He is putting himself out there. You know, we do have to have a little bit of sympathy for the guy who gets up at Bond and he's and he's shouted down by people saying, "You got to keep it in the ground, dude. You can't be a climate leader." Well, at the same time, 
being the third largest contributor to climate change in the United States. Yeah. Um, and he's in a great position to do it because he, he's no longer he's no longer he's no longer at the throes or at the at the the pleasure of the fossil fuel industry in California. He can actually start to draw this down. Because this is his last year in, in political down. office, you mean? Yeah, this yeah. is his last year, and, and he can, you know, he he's not beholden to the fossil fuel industry anymore. Right. And 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 we're not we're not asking him to shut it off overnight, which is you know his his talking point is well if I shut it off overnight, um, you know we'll, we'll we'll kill thousands of jobs. It's like no one's telling you to shut it off overnight, Jerry Brown. Right. We're asking you to start to implement a plan that draws it down, just like the rest of the world is doing, who's taking climate change seriously. So there's, there's, That's what we're asking. There's an interesting political dynamic here, and that is that you and I, we're talking with Mark Ruffalo, uh, actor, activist, uh, you know, all-around brilliant guy. Um, we're, t oh. we're talking about basically challenging a, a, you know, a, a good Democrat, a good progressive politician in a way that, you know, hopefully can be done in a way that doesn't, you know, create an internecine warfare inside the Democratic Party in California. I mean, is, is that not a consideration? Of course it is. I mean, but, you know, at any other point, <laughs> you, one would be much more, you know, gentle. Or, yeah. We're talking about, you well, know. Well, the climate's more important than politics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, we can't. We can't play around anymore. And and, and the Dem this is a, this is good policy for the Democrats. Right. This is this is what their constituency expects of them. And and the reason the Democrats are having such a hard time is because somewhere along the line in the, in their neoliberal uh, thinking, they have forgotten what they were meant to do, and that was to 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 it's justice. It's to take care of the little guy. It's, we don't need them fighting for corporations. We need them fighting for us. Yep. And that's really what this is about. When you see people siding on the fossil fuels based on, the, on all the evidence that we have against climate change, it's money that's making them uh, uh, dumb, that's making that is clouding their vision, they're clouding their moral vision. Mm -hmm. And and it's the writings on the wall. The Democrats have got. We all got to come this way. Just Republicans yeah. too. This is where all the new economy is. This is where all the new wealth making is. This is where all the. This is where the world is moving. And you're an idiot and a fool to try to hold on to the past at this point when everything is telling you to change. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, in the last minute or so we've got here, uh, Mark, you you live in California. You're uh, well, actually, almost two minutes. You, you live in California. You're familiar with California Actually, politics. I don't. I'm not. Um, to Actually, what extent I'm is this not a in California? No, I live in New York. Oh, okay. My apologies. Well, uh, if you're familiar with California politics, and if not, just I say am. I don't. I'm very I've okay. Great. For, so, for is this a Jerry? Of my life. So, my question is: This a Jerry Brown issue, or is this a uh, you know the Democratic Party now essentially controls California politics? So, is this a Democratic Party slash California politician? problem a, a more systemic i mean does it need to be attacked at the level of the assembly and the senate too this is this is happening on every single level in every single place in california and it's a ground roots it's a grassroots movement and we're not going away we're only going to be stepping up this rhetoric we're only going to be demanding more from our leaders you just saw it happen with SB 100. SB 100 was going to take the state to 100% renewable energy. Right. We were like three votes shy of that, bringing it to the House Amazing. for a debate. I mean, Mark, and, and I promise you, it will pass in January. Amen. We're, we're hitting a hard break here, but I just wanted to let people know, sure. you also uh, executive produced a short film on this, right? Yes, Dear Governor Brown. Hang on just a second. Really is I, the Tom Hartman Program. Where, Mark Ruffalo, can people find your short film on this, Dear Governor Brown? If they go to uh, www.deargovernorbrown.org, they can find it or just do a simple Google search, Dear Governor Brown. It lays Thank you, all Mark. It out beautifully. Thank you so much. We'll be back.